I'm gonna show you a new video and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make some Pokemon grass so right here as you guys can see I have some grass right here right so basically I'm about to be able to go into a wild encounter I'm going to survival mode for this of course so let me show you all right all right right here then I get TP'd then then basically I found like a Pidgey for instance I just made two custom mobs for this real quick all right so hold on let me check what uh all right so what man said <laughs> I have to look on my uh, YouTube to find out what you say, my guy. But uh, anyway, all right. Let's see what you said. Hello, Alexander. All right. So anyway, I'm just <laughs> telling people how to do it. Yeah, the uh, command. So right here, let me, let me go try to go across this. Okay. Okay. Oh, oof. Okay. That that was a glitch. But anyway, it can glitch sometimes. As if you see here, like if you jump, it will glitch out. But if it's not, and if you're using slabs, it'll glitch out even more. So I. So basically, jumping does not work well with this. But if you're not jumping, it works perfectly. So I'll show you like if I'm not jumping. All right. So right here is like a rattata, for instance. And then I have to move a little bit. Boom. And I got out of that situation. Now here are all the commands you'll need. Uh, not all of them are needed. Like I added some evolution type so parts. In this, like, I was basically the parts that I have highlighted are basically the parts we need to make it work. To make the whole thing work, of course. Because if we don't, then uh, it will basically be broken, and yeah. So, first off, right here is the grass encounter table. Not table, but like how the grass works. So first, you're going to execute at A and detecting for tall grass. This is the tall grass right here. This tall grass is what we're using to uh, run into a wild encounter and if we're not in that grass. So basically, we have to deal with going through that. We next need, it's basically just testing. It will next set a redstone block right here below this bedrock. Just to make it so it will uh, activate this dropper right here. That would, if it says yes, it will go into these command blocks, all of these right here. Right here, it's just executing this, the item right here to go into this hopper so we never need to refill it. And we'll hello, Van Vera. Anyway, so right here, it will be testing for yes in the radius of three. So and it's doing it for two things right here. And this will summon Pokegrass, which basically the armor stand called Pokegrass, which is the TP command. Oh, next, and do another one, then it will just do this command, but in a chain command block. Oh, next, affect you with blindness. It will just, instead of doing tall grass, test for app player, you just need to do the effect of radius of one. Change this with n slowness. So we don't need to deal with someone just doing that. Then, nausea for uh. So you know it looks like a wild encounter. Then it will detect the player again in tall grass and TP him over inside this box. Then it will activate over here in these armor stands right here, which is the encounter table, of course. So the this is the Pidgey and Rattata thing. So right here, so 
Right here, it will summon an armor stand named Rat. And we'll automatically remove it from down there. It will summon the rat right here. Or if you want the bird, then here's the bird. Just change the uh, coordinates of what coordinates you want to use, of course, for the design. Next, just for the safety measures of Pokegrass, what we need to do is make it so it will automatically die if it's in air. It will automatically die if it's in diamond blocks. Just so it will not uh, break like that. Then, right over here is the uh, testing for the players and all of the Pokegrass, some more Pokegrass stuff. So right here is testing for zombies. Technically the, the, technically, the mobs are zombie mobs, but technically they are getting used, the zombie mobs are getting used to su to get summoned for this situation. Go so next, TP, and then after that, if it uh, dies, basically if it goes over here, then basically it's still alive, and basically will, uh, then basically, whenever it goes back, it will TP the player back to Pokegrass and kill the Pokegrass. Just so, you know, you just get TP over to Pokegrass, the same area you were whenever you got into the wild encounter. Right here is testing for the player. This is the death one. So if you die, this is how it works here. Uh, yeah. This is the death part of, uh, of this machine. Ooh. It will basically just kill the zombie and kill Pokegrass at the exact same time. It's not too complicated, really. Last but not least, how I made the cu the custom mob. So right here. So Rattata is lower than Pidgey, but Pidgey is meant to have less armor points. So right here, Rattata is going to have slowness. One, two, so it's always going to keep doing that over and over. So it doesn't matter what slowness you want. Then it'll replace its main hand with a stick just for like that effect. And then we'll next, add a leather helmet on top of its head. So then basically, this is the rat armor stand right from over here. It'll basically summon a zombie T Rattata. That's how it basically works for everything in this. And you'll kill rat. Just so it won't just keep spawning in more rotatas. Right here is almost the exact same thing. but So right, right here. Bird. Summon zombie. T. T. Pidgey. It'll kill bird. It'll uh, put a skull on their head. I just did that skull. And then we did weapon, main hand, and then just did stone shuffle. Stone underscore shuffle, of course. And just named the, changed the name to Pidgey. Then it will affect the Pidgey and visibility. It's not going to have slowness. It's just going to have invisibility, just so it will be stronger. Stronger to kill and stuff. Just so it's fair for a Pidgey to deal some damage, of course. I would recommend doing like slowness one, for, so it'll be like it'll be faster than Rattata, at least a little bit, if that makes sense to you. And you probably have some questions like, what are these commands for? These are the evolution commands. So right here, I can show you that uh, on slash. XP Sanjo Lord. So I'm just gonna do a minus 36 L. Yeah, it's just how it, it works, kind of. Negative 10 L. So basically, I'm gonna remove by hashtag Sanjo Lord remove. B-Y. Uh, you might need to extend the, uh... Ooh, it takes a while to go into second, of course, because... So right here, this might need to be 50. Oh, well, we need to remove 
You move BY, and I will now have a wooden sword on me. This is level one stuff. So, like, boom. Basically, if I, uh, for instance, I uh, do this, boom. I'm actually getting sorted. Last step we need is the evolution. So, right here is the rotten flesh thing. So, let me go into creative mode for this. So right here, it's giving you one XP level every time you get a rotten flesh, and will kill rotten flesh. Right here are the evolution type things. Like right here is just starter. So like right here, if you have the if you have the tag of BY and L of zero to get starter, you get the tag at A, add BY and just remove starter. This needs to have a 50 tick delay so it won't just on Mac we not even give you some stuff. Right here it's just the exact same thing but with different tags that's really all. But right here I still like level 36 LM of 36. If it's past starter then you have to do LM so we're perfectly fine of course. So if I add 36 levels for instance so I'm just going to move the minus off here. And then I need to remove BE because technically BE isn't the problem. It's going to be a problem. As you guys can see, it still can break, of course. So I would probably make this even. I don't. Ooh, I actually did that. But <laughs> Boom. So I'll show you that it should work. So right here. Yes, I know. Sometimes. So I'm gonna move it to a hundred. Okay. So right here. Boom. It now gave me B E. Of course, I would probably make this conditional. Just so it won't happen until uh so it'll be square uh, so right here move B E boom it it won't it won't break anymore as you guys can see right here Yeah, we don't need to need another one, of course. Here are the commands for starter and EVO 1 here. Right here, it's basically, if you have the starter tag, it'll get your main weapon, main hand, to zero and give you a wooden sword and le leather helmet to the head. Right there, slot.armor.head. Right here's chainmail helmet. Stone sword for, for this, for instance. Chainmail chest plate. And it'll clear everyone's wooden sword if you have Evo 1. It's just so, you know, we don't need to deal with a wooden sword in inventory anymore. If you guys want to, you guys can change the level to wh of what when you want Evo. So, like, LM. Change the LM value to like whatever you want, like 25, 16, whatever, and it works perfectly fine for the Pokemon experience. Like, it looks like you evolve later on and stuff. It's actually cool. course if you guys have any questions answer in the description my description bit bitch and uh of course uh not a description in the comment section below
that in it. Of course, we got through the grass and two encounters. Sometimes it doesn't need even need an encounter. Sometimes you don't even have an encounter to get two. Or you get like five encounters. <laughs> of course, it matters by your luck and how uh, good you are to, of facing mobs. It's kind of PvE type of sort of commands. And see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.